Hello Fremont, happy Friday. I am here today to talk to you about Mark 11. Uh, as I read this chapter, uh, it really brought me back uh, some great memories of uh, when I first came to Fremont. Um, I, had, uh, I was raised Catholic and I had wandered away from the faith for many years. And uh, we came back to Fremont uh, kind of on a whim. Uh, my wife and I uh, just said, kind of both felt like something was missing in life we we're on a road trip and uh and we she said well let's go to Fremont that's where I grew up and we showed up and it was Palm Sunday and there was this great message about uh coming home and being welcomed and it's really just felt like a home here at Fremont um ever since for us and so as I read this uh, chapter and thought about the journey that I've been on um so much of it just feels uh, so uh, so apl uh, applicable to me. Uh, I really very uh, been been a great study for me. Um, so uh, the the story of uh, Jesus sending the disciples to get the the colt or the donkey uh, is um, just so great. It just shows that Jesus keeps his promises. He tells us to do these crazy things. Um, and if we do it, if we listen for his words and do those things, it, this tells us he'll keep his promises. So I just, I, I try to remind myself of that all the time is, uh, um, God is good. He knows what's best for us and he keeps his promises. And, uh, you know, as I continued on my journey, we came here to Fremont and started being, uh, got a little more involved, became members of a life group. Uh, they were Mariner ships back in the day and uh, made some friends and kind of God kept calling me in a little deeper and a little deeper. And uh, when I had three young kids, I think I had three kids under four years old and he called me to start a basketball league here at Fremont with some friends and we sure enough got it started and seemed like a crazy thing right go 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 get that basketball league and when I showed up I found it uh, just as he has said as they also say in uh, it's in Luke uh, 1932 a different telling of the same story where they found it just as he has said and I pray for all of you that you will listen for God's word and uh and then do what you hear and I promise and he promises that you will find it just as he has said um we can trust Jesus he keeps his promises uh and he wants us to follow him um Mark 11 also a little further uh reinforces the tough message from my last devotional. If you remember, I, was, I did Hebrews 6, which in verses 4 through 8, uh, you know, has a pretty tough message that says, uh, if you fall away, uh, there will be eternal consequences. And Jesus in this verse, uh, you know, shrivels a fig tree that doesn't, uh, isn't bearing fruit. And, uh, uh, you know, so I pray that that doesn't happen to any of us, that we continue to listen to God's word and we uh, do his good works and we pursue his will in our lives and we listen um, and so we do not end up as a withered uh, fruit tree fig tree um, at some point so uh, we need to keep our faith we need to stay in prayer we need to um, you know watch our actions make sure we're doing what God's will is for our lives. So my prayer for all of us today uh, is that we will listen for God's word and uh, we will uh, have the faith to do what we hear, what, what he says, what we read in the Bible, what we hear in prayer. Um, Mark 11 tells us that uh, Jesus knows what we need and that he will keep his promises. So Fremont, uh, please join me on this journey uh, following our Lord. Uh, it's an honor to do it with you and thank you for listening and uh, have a great day.